So guys, to be honest, I get many many questions about the batteries and all other stuff. And because I get same questions from multiple people, for this reason I decided that I will make this video. Because the three most asked questions which I get lately are the first one, how to make some really easy battery at home. The second most asked question was how to make some zinc bromine battery. And the third most asked question was if I can make some large battery of several kilowatt hours of capacity. And because in this moment I'm not able to make some really large battery of several kilowatt hours of capacity because I simply don't have the money for this, but actually I can make the first two questions. And for this reason, in this video, I will show you how to make some really easy zinc bromine battery at home. So the cell construction of this zinc bromine battery will be almost similar to the zinc bromine battery from Princeton University, which means that the battery will have this gravity cell design, which on the bottom will form some bromine and on the top will form some zinc. And to make this kind of zinc bromine battery with this cell housing, I will need some container like this one for the cell housing. Uh, then I will also need some positive current collector, which is really good that the positive current collector is made from some sort of carbon based material. And for this reason, my current collector is made from some graphol. Uh, and you can also see that around this graphol I put this captain tape. Uh, this is because um, I need to bend this graphol and I, I don't want that this graphol will break. Uh, then I will also need uh, some negative electrode. This I will made from some zinc. Then the electrolyte. In my case I will use two mole of zinc bromide electrolyte. But in your case, instead of using zinc uh, bromide electrolyte, you can also use other types of electrolytes. If you want to make some zinc hybrid supercapacitor, then instead of using zinc bromide electrolyte, you will use some zinc sulfate. Or if you want to make some zinc manganese battery, then in this case you will use zinc sulfate and manganese sulfate electrolyte. But in my case, in this video, I will make some zinc bromine battery. For this reason, I will use two mole of zinc bromide electrolyte. So the zinc bromide electrolyte is made from sodium bromide and zinc sulfate. Then on the bottom, on the positive uh, electrode, I will also use a little bit of activated uh, carbon powder. Uh, so this one, here I make this activated uh, carbon uh, slurry or activated carbon pasta. Uh, here I mix together activated carbon powder with the electrolyte to make this pasta. And this activated carbon I will add on the positive uh, current collector here on the bottom. And to make the entire cell a little bit more safer, uh, for this reason I will also use some sand or dirt. So this dirt I collect actually outside and this dirt will only hold the electrolyte in place. So with this dirt I will make the entire cell a little bit more safer. So I know that this dirt will add some dead weight to the cell, but hey, here in this video I only show you how to make some really really simple uh, zinc uh, bromine battery and I also want that this battery will be a little bit more safer So this is the only reason that I will also use This dirt and now I will put together this cell. So first I will put this positive current collector inside of this container Like so Okay. And now I will make some layer of activated carbon powder.
Okay, this will be good. Now we'll add a little bit of the electrolyte. Okay, and now I will fill almost the entire container with this dirt. Okay, I think that this will be enough. So, here you can see some layer of this activated carbon and here I have some layer of this dirt. So this dirt actually works like separator. And what is also really nice about this dirt separator is that the dirt will suppress uh, all the zinc dendrites. So you only need to make sure that the dirt will be really, really good compressed and now I will wet this dirt with the electrolyte And now I will charge this cell a little bit. And I also insert inside some spacer that this lid will push down the zinc electrodes to make better contact. Okay, so the cell is charging for about 15 minutes and at this stage the cell is not even closely to be fully charged. Uh, so the cell needs some time to be uh, fully charged. And now I will disconnect this cell from my power supply. Let's check the voltage. One point eight volts, which is the actually voltage of some zinc bromine battery. And I also think that this battery will not have any problems to run this drum motor. Yeah. Oops. So really nice. So this was my idea about making some really quick and really simple uh, zinc bromine battery. But please remember that instead of making some zinc bromine battery, you can also make some other chemistries with this kind of uh, cell construction. Uh, so for now, that's it. And yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye. And what is also really interesting to know about the dirt-like separator for the batteries is that in year 2010 our team, the KREX team, actually experimented with some separator which was made 80% out from dirt. And this dirt separator have the key benefits to be eco-friendly material, was really cheap to make and the separator was able to suppress zinc dendrites. 
and this experimental dirt separator was used in our prototype battery called Jeet Cell. And in the same year, 2010, our Jeet Cell battery project was one of the best innovations in our country, year 2010. And then two years later, in year 2012, we again used this dirt-based separator in our upgraded G-Cell battery project, called G-Cell Eco Hybrid.